So time for a wee promo video on my sound system. These are Yamaha speakers. It's their uh, new DZR range on top, which is the biggest one that they provide. The DZR315, which is a three-way 2000 watt sound system capable of 142 decibels uh, from each speaker. Staggeringly powerful. Uh, underneath, we have uh, three Yamaha DZ, uh, D, sorry, DXS 18XLF subs. Uh, which is the new ones that they brought out in, re um, in replacement of the DXS18. This is a, a different system, rather than being a bandpass filter, this is a bass reflex speaker, you get much lower bass with it. And I'm not kidding you, when you turn these things on and you pump it up, literally it feels like someone's punching you in the stomach with the, the bass line. It is absolutely staggering. Uh, the sound off these is incredible. I used them last night, um, I've changed the format tonight. I've actually uh, put the crossover on um, so that the top speakers are only doing mid-high rather than sub as well. Because I noticed last night that the top ends were uh, redlining quite a lot. And I thought, right, let's take sub out the equation and try some little less hard and let the bass uh, go a little bit harder. So I turned the bass up to three quarters rather than just half. And the tops are on uh, a half. So um, plenty enough for 280 people tonight, I am fairly sure. So let's go across and here they are, exact same thing on the other side. Two big stacks, um, just what a sound this produces. I absolutely love these. And um, best thing about uh, these new uh, speakers is the fact they consume so little power. Um, I don't quite know how the technology works, but uh, this system is 17 kilowatts in total. And yet, uh, each speaker takes roughly 200 watts mains power um, from your 13 amp sockets. In fact, I've got all five of these speakers are plugged into one extension lead, which you'll see here. So there it is. So all five speakers into one 13 amp extension, which goes into the wall over here. And that is no problem at all. It runs absolutely beautifully. That's, uh, Incredible. I remember when I first started doing discos back in 1976 and you had to uh, hunt around all over the uh, venues for uh, sockets to plug lights in, to plug speakers in, because you never ever had enough power to run everything when you ran a big show and it was really difficult. And back in those days, three phase power supplies and uh, 1632 and 64, uh, sorry, 63 amp uh, blue plugs were not in most venues. They're starting to kind of get there now. So anyway, that's all about sound, um, driven by a uh, MacBook Pro into a Native Instruments uh, S4 Mark III controller, which is absolutely beautiful to use, absolutely lovely. And over here, we've got my wireless mood lights. These are currently all on charge. These are Chauvet um, Quad 4 um, IPs that I'm using tonight. I just noticed that one isn't being charged. I need to go and plug that in elsewhere because I've run out of sockets. Oh, make that too. <laughs> um, these produce an amazing effect. Um, I like to charge them fully every night just to be sure, but you can actually get two, sometimes even three nights out of uh, one charge, which is pretty exceptional. So uh, love these. Uh, other thing I bought recently that I really, really like are these over here. This is Chauvet's um, D5 dongles. Now I've got two sets uh, here, I always have one set on charge and I have another set that's actually into all the lights at the moment so if I ever need to replace one if one uh, runs out of charge, it hasn't happened yet um, I think these must last for a good 8-10 hours um, never had that as an issue then we have one of my other favourite toys, Equinox Arcus uh, low smoke machine which I'll need to top up with water in a little while because uh, it fairly drinks water when you're uh, using it so Last night I had another five litres went into it halfway through the night, so I'll top it up again tonight and then top up the bottle just in case I need it again. Then in the background we have a little haze machine. I think it's an American DJ uh, on tour, Phase Junior. Does the job, uh, it's a great little machine. And it used half a bottle of fluid last night, so uh, it was running literally all night. Now let's talk about lighting. Um, my favourite lights, these up here. Equinox Helix uh, are on the top. There are five actually, and there's one that's an XP on the top because I had one that went faulty. Um, so I just swapped things around a bit. And then the six that are underneath are the XP versions. Um, these 
are just incredible. If you're a DJ and you want to fill a room with light, particularly the XP version because it's 150 watts rather than 100 watts, it's considerably brighter. And that's what's producing all these little pink triangles on the floor. And as you'll know, pink, purple, colours like that are the hardest to produce because uh, they're obviously a darker colour, whereas white, which I've done on the roof here with the standard helix, is much easier, it's much more uh, obvious when you put it on rather than purples or pinks or deep reds. And this is the effect that you get. It is just absolutely stunning. I love this. I have to say that I think that um, the Equinox Helix, the original one when it came out, was the best thing that I've ever come across. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. Snowflakes for Christmas proms and hearts for, uh, for weddings. It is just such an amazing bit of kit. Um, other things I've done, I have lots of uh, gravity stands, which I bought uh, over the last year. These are amazing, very, very stable. They don't take up huge footprint. I far prefer them to tripods. They're quite expensive, especially when you buy the bags and everything to go with them and the T-bar on the top. Strange thing is, they make an all white stand and they don't make a white T-bar. Quite why they haven't done that, I do not know. That's quite beyond me. So I've got a few of these. There's another one over here. Another one up the back here on the right hand side of the big doorway. One on the left hand side of the big doorway. And there's another one over on this side in the middle. And then one in this corner over here. So the idea is, I've always noticed that when you're doing discos that uh, the view from the DJ box is always the best view that you can get. And when you look at it from the customer's end, it doesn't look as good. So I thought, right, okay, let's do something about that. And the obvious thing to do was to put lights all the way around the room. So no matter which way you're looking, you get the same effect everywhere from every angle. And that's exactly what I've managed to achieve with this. Still got to put the mood lights out, which I will do in a little while once they're all fully charged. And, uh, and that's basically it. But a huge thank you to Prolight for producing such an amazing light. Uh, Equinox Helix, the original, and the XP version that came out afterwards are... In my mind, the best light you can buy under £500 without a shadow of a doubt. There's just nothing competes with it at all.